Hi and welcome to Spice and Pants. Today we'll be cooking pipa tofu or pipa tofu. So let's start cooking. Now we're going to prepare the mixture for the prawn pipa tofu. First, I'll show you how actually to remove the tofu from the box easily to snip off the four corners of the tofu. This is how I like to do it so that air can go in and once you remove the cover, the tofu comes out easily. So now we will prepare the mixture for the tofu. I'm using my Magic Mix food processor for this process. If you do not have a food processor, you can always use a potato smasher or mesher to mash it up. I'm using two pieces of tofu over here, silky tofu. This is approximately 300 grams per piece, so it's a total of 600 grams of silky tofu. Put them in. 150 grams of prawns, de sharp and de-vein. Of course, same thing if you do not have a food processor, you can just chop this up finely and then mix it up together with the tofu. Add in one teaspoon of salt, one teaspoon of chicken stock powder, and crack an egg in. We'll be adding a little bit of cornstarch solution in a while, but let's just mix this up first. So we'll close this up and then we'll mix this up. So it's pretty fast. So now add in 3 teaspoons of corn flour and also dashes of pepper, white pepper. Okay, this is done. You do not have to process this for a long time because tofu is, silky tofu is very soft and once mixed, it's very watery like this. So now we'll divide them into spoons and steam this up before we deep fry them. So now we're going to scoop the tofu into individual porcelain spoon. This is how it will look like before we steam it and after we steam it, this is how it will look like. Now I'll show you how to actually place the mixture into the porcelain spoon. First, you need to oil it so that it's easier for you to remove it later. Take a big spoonful of the mixture. Just put it in. Now why do we call this pipa tofu? Pipa is actually a traditional Chinese musical instrument and you can look at the shape of this, it's, it looks exactly like the pipa. Hence the name pipa tofu. We are making quite a fair bit of it. You can cook it all at once. Or you can cook everything first and keep the rest. You can use them for soup or you prefer to air fry them or deep fry them. It will be very crispy and very nice too. So normally I like to make big batches of this. Once this is done, we will steam this. So make sure that your water is boiling. You put this in and we'll steam this for 8 minutes. So I'll see you back in a while. So the tofu is done already. It's been 8 minutes. we we'll remove this from heat and I will show you how to remove the tofu from the porcelain spoon after they have cooled down. To remove the tofu from the spoon is very simple. Just use the edge of this spoon. Slowly towards the edge, just push it down a little. Right like this. And you just push it up and it's done. Simple. I'll show you from a different angle how it's done. Just put the spoon by the edge. Slowly just push this down. And it'll come out easily. This tofu is fantastic not only if you want to deep fry it and it'll be crispy. You can actually add this into your hot pot or soup. And this is a very welcome addition to any of your cuisine that you're cooking. So we continue with the rest before we put it with corn flour. We will now coat the tofu with corn flour before we deep fry them so that they will be crispy. So gently lift one of the tofu up, put it on the corn flour and just roll it like this. Okay, very easily, gently. Shake off the excess flour, place it on a tray and we will continue with the rest. We're going to deep fry the 
tofu now. Make sure that your oil is hot. Remember to rest your tofu for approximately 10-15 minutes before you fry them, after you coat them with the flour, so that the flour will not drop off when you deep fry them. Slowly stir them in, one by one. We are just going to fry them until golden brown. This is going to be so good. Now remember, if you do not want to deep fry them, you can always serve them after you steam with a good gravy, any gravy that you like. You can always pour the gravy over the steamed tofu and they will taste fantastic too. But I like my food to be a little bit crispy, hence I'm deep frying them. I can already feel the crispiness of the tofu already. This is going to be so, so good. I'm frying this tofu at medium heat. So you can do the same at home, but make sure that your oil is hot, otherwise the oil will be soaked into the tofu. This is almost done. Look at how beautiful the color is. There are some recipes that ask you to use firmer tofu. You can if you want to do it and it's perhaps easier to handle. But with the silky tofu, what you have is actually a very crispy outer layer and a very tender within. So it tastes really fantastic. This used to be my favorite dish when my dad is around. He used to cook this quite often and this is one of my favorite. Actually, most of my dad dishes are my favorite. <laughs> okay, so these are done. Look at how beautiful these are. We are just going to remove them from oil and we will fry the rest. Now I'm going to deep fry some long beans. This 180 grams of it, I've cut them into sizes like this. Okay, I'm just going to put them in. Why am I doing this? Because with this, it will cook evenly and much easier. Just two minutes will do. Okay, this is done. We'll remove this from here and we'll create the sauce for this dish. Now we're going to make the sauce. Put in a little bit of oil. Swirl the oil around. Four cloves of garlic chopped. Fry until you can smell them. Do not turn up the heat too high because we don't want to burn the garlic. We just want the fragrance to come out. Once you can smell them, we we'll add in. This is dried scallop. I've soaked them in one cup of hot water. 30 grams of dried scallop with one cup of hot water. And I've used a fork to actually press it down so that they will actually separate like this okay so we just pour this in add in one tablespoon of oyster sauce to balance up the taste we we'll add one quarter teaspoon of sugar just a little bit we find we need some pepper If you like the color to be darker, add in a little bit dark soya sauce, perhaps half a tablespoon. Give it a taste. Mm, nice. We will now add in the long beans that we have deep fried. Now if the sauce is too little, you can feel free to add a little bit more water, just a little bit more. And while this is boiling, we will prepare some cornstarch solution. Now we need to thicken this up a little bit. Okay, we're almost done. We're adding one tablespoon of Chinese cooking wine or Hua Tiao Jiao. And to finish this off, we'll add in one teaspoon of sesame oil. Okay, time to serve this up. And ladies and gentlemen, this is how we cook our pipa tofu. I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching. See you next time.